Hi everybody, this is Dave Vellante and I'm with Wikibon.org and you're watching SiliconAngle.tv's continuous coverage of HP Discover. This is the fourth day of the event. This is the third day we've been covering it. So day four is the wrap up day, uh, big festivities last night, a bunch of parties going on, and tonight is the big concert and uh, big customer event. Uh, and we're here, this is theCUBE, and we try to bring you the smartest people that we can find at these events. We extract their knowledge and we share it with you, our audience. And today we have a customer segment uh, we have two gentlemen uh, from Sao Paulo State University. Jessian Cavalcanti and Carlos Coletti are practitioners um, and of course HP customers. So gentlemen, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Thank you for opportunity. So we were talking offline, Las Vegas, this is, you guys were here last year for HP Discover. And uh, so what do you think? What do you think of the show, Jessian? Well, this, this show is, is awesome. Um, the, the stands, the technology, the people that we can talk, um, the experience, it's all very nice. Yeah, so now uh, tell me what you guys do. Uh, Justin, why don't we start with you at Sao Paulo State University, what's your role? I am a network analyst. We, at the university, we work with the network infrastructure. This guy here, we'll talk more about, uh, he is the, the manager of the network. And in fact, we have uh, uh, responsibility for the internet link and for all the, the, the infrastructure of the one network. Yeah, so, um, so Sao Paulo State University, uh, tell us a little bit about the university and you know, how many students and you know, what's the specialty? We have a total community of around 50,000 users. 50,000? 60,000 60, 60, 60, maybe. Yeah, sizable, yeah. The students uh, are around 45,000 and 10,000 uh, teachers, something like that. It's a huge community and all of them want to be connected on the network of the university. Yeah, so, um, so we're going to talk about sort of some of the things you've done in, in networking, but before we get into that, talk a little bit about, um, just set, set up the conversation. What's your IT environment like? You know, what's the, what's the installation like? What kind of applications you're running? Talk yeah, about that a little we bit. Want, we want to talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of, uh, lot of systems in there. Uh, ERP systems and things that we were installing or okay. that already installed. And we live. Yeah. And we, we have a lot of uh, users starting using technology and users who are used to the technology. So we, a lot of servers, a lot of uh, network access points and, and stuff like that. Uh, Roughly how many servers? How many servers? About maybe, maybe 300. And these servers. are virtual servers or? Yeah, a lot of virtual servers. I mean, 300 physical servers. 300 physical. Yeah. yeah. But a lot more virtual servers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the IDC, uh, from where we work, we work at, at Rectory, Rectory. We have about uh, 120 servers total, uh, physical and virtual. And it's a huge infrastructure there. We are trying to expand this year. So, have a lot of work to do. What now, what are you doing for virtualization? Is it a VMware shop, or Hyper-V, or both, or? We use VMware. We have VMware? Yeah. And how much, how, what percent of your servers are virtualized? Mm, it's about 60 maybe. 60%? 60 percent? 60 percent, yes. Yeah, okay. And when did you start that uh, whole process, the virtualization? How long have you been? In 2008. 2008, and yeah. mostly test and dev? Are you virtualizing applications now? Or? Uh, we started with uh, small servers, uh, like web, uh, small websites, and just for testing. And now we have a lot of uh, critical application like uh, email systems. Uh, the portal of the university, the main portal, is virtualized and also we use a, a cloud solution, uh, a third party cloud solution there. And, and, and you, you mentioned SAP before, uh, is that right? SAP? ERP. Oh, sorry, ERP. I, ERP. I, I equate ERP with <laughs> SAP for some reason. Is it, uh, <laughs> well, whose packages are you using for ERP? Is it Microsoft or? No, it's uh, SAP, uh, an open software, it's uh, Postgres. Okay. 
And, and so, and, and are you virtualizing that package or that application? No, because uh, people are. They, they don't want to virtualize they, they it. <laughs> yeah, they don't want. But we oh, say yeah, it's, no. it's, yeah. it's confident. Yeah. It's, it's true. It's, uh, we can trust you in the, this technology, but they are still. Uh, Paranoid. They're yeah. scared. Yeah. Yeah, they're scared. They don't. They're scared. worried about the performance. Mm -hmm. Right. They're worried about the security. Yeah, <laughs> all the things that people usually uh, worry yeah. about. Always. It takes time. <laughs> so, um, how has um, now? You, so you, you started virtualizing in two thousand eight. How did it or did that affect your network at all? Did it change your networking requirements? Mm -hmm. It was quite use, uh, easy to to deploy servers, mm -hmm. and we had we had a problem with. The, the amount of of servers spread because uh, I forgot to mention we we are present in 23 cities in the São Paulo state, so it's a a big a big challenge to create a WAN links for a lot of servers like that, and we we like to, to virtual the virtualization is a very big and a good solution for us because. It's easy to deploy. And for the VoIP infrastructure also. Yeah, we have uh, 10,000 uh, endpoints, uh, VoIP endpoints there, and the servers are virtualized. So one of the things that obviously a university has to deal with is mobility. Students, and I imagine faculty, um, they're not chained to a desk all day, <laughs> like a call mm -hmm. center. So. They've got iPads and mobile devices, and so talk about mobility and how you've dealt with that. Yep. Um, you made me remember that we have many labs for the students with uh, workstations, mm -hmm. but half of these labs, uh, the people just use the table to put their notebooks, so the workstation is not used on half of the lab. We, we understand that this lab will get empty in one year or two years. People will bring their own notebook for the lab. Yeah. This is quite a reality. So you support all, all mobile devices? Uh, that, that uh, are, we think so. bring your own device kind of environment? Yeah, uh, if you have your user and password on the enterprise portal, you, you, got, to, you got to be connected. Okay. So we have recipes for the devices and then you you go there, you connect, and you you put your user and password, and then it, and you go. Now, talk about the the physical uh, situation at the university. Is it you know one big campus? Is it multiple campuses? You want to talk? Can I talk? Okay. Thank you. Well, well as Carlos uh, remembered, we we are present in 23 cities, and we have uh, regional nodes. We have actually five regional nodes, one, one main node on the capital of the, the state, and we have two rings, and this, uh, we have a total of 40, 41 nodes. All of them are running uh, HP equipment, and we have a uh, routing protocol, we have uh, many IP addresses, and IPv6. IPv6 is already working, thank you for remembering. We have um, the website working on IPv6, the DNS servers, email servers with IPv6. Many workstations are already on IPv6. Part of the wireless network is already working on IPv6. It's a, a nice experience with this new protocol. Nice experience, all running very well. How do you do, um Authentication and management. Uh, can you can you do that in a centralized fashion? Can you talk about that a little bit. Yeah, sure. Uh, the authentication um, begins on the the enterprise portal. So we have a customized application for the information of of uh, personnel for uh, the faculty staff and the students, and all of the information is on this portal. We managed to use that same information for the authentication of the wireless network. Uh, we are we are on the process of unify this authentication to be also used on the wired on the on the cable network also. And this uh, this 
um, this remember us that there is a, a workflow. It all begins on the uh, human resources or on the academic system. It, it all begins there. If you have a problem with your password, they don't have to come with us. They have to go to their session to know if there is the lack of uh, any information, a document that was not um, registered, and then if the information on in the beginning of the process is okay, then people can use their, their information for access of the network. It's, uh, it's a work in progress. We are, we are um, uh, mounting this, this solution um, in phases. Uh, there are some, some groups of the universe that, that are still not, that are not yet on, on this infrastructure. But it's a work in progress. And your infrastructure is, is are you an all HP shop? Are you a, a mixed shop? With well, it's kind of a mix. And would you help me with this? Most of the vendor is, uh, most of switches is HP. All the access points are HP. And uh, we have a little bit of, of other vendors, because it was a, a process in 2007. We, we started a process to Standardized, uh, standardized the, the vendor. So HP is your primary vendor. Yeah. It's but you primary. deal with other vendors. Can you talk about who else? Or? The other vendors. Yeah. Uh, we we had a, a lot of uh, other vendors before. Yeah. Okay. But we we think that if we make one vendor, one main vendor, it will be easier to to deploy the solution and to train people and and have the solution. Yeah, so my, my last question, we we're out of time, but my last question is why HP? Well, <laughs> why HP? It was a, dis, um, a decision in group. Uh, the head of the university was deeply involved in this decision. We had the wired network already working with HP e equipment, and then we had to, to do the wireless project. And people in the direction of the university uh, helped us to, to, to choose this, this line because of the the unified uh, interface for management. And it's important to remember that as we are uh, a public university, we have to uh, put all vendors to, to play and the most competitive price wins the, 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 uh, the vendor. So okay. HP has win. Excellent. All right, Jesse and, and Carlos, thanks very much for coming inside theCUBE. Uh, have a great rest of stay Thank and uh, good trip too. back. Bon dia. And, uh, Go Brazil and soccer, you know, the guys okay. kicked our butts the other day, but uh, that's expected. Okay. <laughs> All <Yeah>. right, thank you. <laughs> All right, thank keep you. it right there. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE TV. We'll be right back after this word. <laughs>